Hi, I'm Glenn with uh, Pure Pursuit Automotive, and today this is a special video. This is my car that I've owned for about three or four years, so uh, it's going to be going into inventory. We have a lot of other cars around. Uh, I don't really want to give it up, but uh, it, does, it needs to go into inventory. This is a 2006 BMW M5. There's a lot of special features that have the car inside and out, so if you are interested, you can call me personally. We can chat about it. Uh, you know, the, this is one of the most award-winning engines uh, of all time. This is the BMW's uh, V10. 500 horsepower, revs to uh, 8200 RPM, it goes on and on, you guys know some of those stats. So again, the purpose of these videos is really to kind of show you the car in a video, but more importantly, some of the unique features on this particular car. Uh, we do have the bi-xenon self-leveling lights. And uh, full disclosure, a little bit of road rash from over the years, this uh, does have 89,000 miles on it. Coming to the 19 inch uh, BMW, these are M6 wheels, a special mod. Uh, that's what I bought the car with. I like the wheels a lot. I think it uh, looks really nice as we pan out. You can see in the pictures, I think it's a, a better uh, look than actually the, the original five wheels. Giant calipers, massive rotors, drilled rotors, of course, uh, just great. Great badging here on the side. Uh, retractable rear view mirrors there. So gray on black, great uh, door sills. The BMW really does the door sills well with the badging. Uh, looking inside, we'll get a lot more in depth as we go inside on our test drive with some of the buttons. Uh, it does have a dark tint, as you can see from the exterior. Uh, wouldn't call it limo tint, but it is dark tint. It does have our manual sunshade as well as the power rear sunshade. Uh, we can show off that feature when we get inside. Coming to the rear of the car, floor mats. Two fobs are included, as well as I have all the personal service that I've done on this car uh, in about the four years that I've owned it. No, tr no uh, spare on these, and uh, what we are does not come with the car. We can order one if you want. Is the uh, is the compressor? So here's the battery in the rear, and I actually never got the compressor. We can order one if you're interested in the car, and that's what you want. M5, nice apparent badge there. Great view of the outs uh, back here. Do have the rear Parktronic as well as it's a member of the quad exhaust club. Most of the cars we carry here at Pure Pursuit are members given the high horsepower. We have it decked out in its uh, marketing attire here as we drive it around the streets of Kansas City. Okay, so that completes the outside. Let's head inside for a quick test drive and uh, you guys all fire it up and you guys can hear what it sounds like on the outside. So here we are in the 2006 uh, BMW M5. Again, this is a special car for me. Uh, we'll take you on a test drive. I hope it's not one of my last, but it might end up being as it's in inventory. Um, okay, scrolling over here, do not have, right now we have 89,392 miles. Uh, great M uh, display here and uh, nice tachometer where the tach, the car's warmed up now, but the tach will go and incrementally warm up and that yellow band and the red band will go all the way through. I'll, uh, Take the camera here and show you the heads-up display here while it's safe and uh, you can kind of see it as it's uh, you can see the heads-up display right there and then you can actually see it in the uh, windshield I'll do it one more time as we're driving all right coming through some of the buttons here we do have the seven speed uh, SMG this is a single clutch semi manual uh, we can uh, upshift downshift over here as well as these paddles so these paddles provide nice uh, flexibility BMW is nice we got uh, basically we got downshift on the left and upshift on the right. Uh, coming down to these buttons here, these are the M mode buttons. Uh, power, increase the horsepower from 400 to 500. I can do that individually, or I can uh, execute it with this M button we'll get to in a second. This is my dynamic uh, uh, damper control, and this is finally my, uh, my damper control, um, I'm sorry, this is my traction control, and this is my damper control actually changes the stiffness of the shocks. Coming over to here, we have the ups and the downs. And again, this is all standard stuff in the M5. I just wanted to point it out for those that are unfamiliar. Uh, this actually changes the shift settings of the shift gates and the shift uh, speed and the firmness of the shift as well. Coming over here is the iDrive control. Uh, you can see up in the nice widescreen display here, uh, the menu. Uh, I have above communication. I have climate control. A lot of crazy settings on the climate control. I'll show you a couple just so you can see. Um, so yeah, vent settings, I can actually control the top middle and lower settings there for the vents. So just a lot of crazy settings here. BMW likes to throw in automatic programs, seat heater distribution, a lot of cool things. Okay, navigation. Uh, great, nice widescreen display. Uh, you can enter all your destination data in here. Uh, map direction of travel. And you can get a couple different ways to view the, uh, the navigation. So you can kind of get that more of a bird's eye view, uh, north straight up. 
and wherever the car faces as well as uh, this is my preferred view where the car faces uh, straight up and finally entertainment a lot of different entertainment options we have uh, FM AM uh, wideband interestingly enough satellite radio you can activate that and CD this does have a uh, in dash single CD here's where you put the navigation DVD and there's a six dash uh, CD player there's no caddy for it but we can order that if you're interested in that start stop button we do have keyless go uh, BMW calls that comfort access so that is an, a unique feature of the car and coming down to this row of buttons this is what really sets this car apart from all the other ones these are uh, heated seats we also have cooled seats and even better we have active seats so you can see that um, active backrest adjustment in the screen up there and now we're in sport mode uh, we do have park sensors parktronic front and rear I'll take some of this stuff off and I'll just take it on the road for a test drive the coolest thing I love about these M's and M5 was the first one to do this in the BMW line is you can go from a normal sort of pedestrian sedan it should, might be a sports sedan uh, on the looks of it but it actually feels like a normal sedan uh, shifts on its own this is a single clutch sort of semi-manual, so again, the shifts tend to be a little more clunky than people are used to uh, when they're going around. But again, overall, the demeanor of the car is, is sedan. You know, you can have your whole family in it. Uh, I've taken my family around on this particular car, and they don't really know the difference. Um, this is running at 400 horsepower. The shocks are, you know, not a really punishing ride. And you can instantly transform the car into three different modes. The mode it's in now, you can go into the M mode, you can finally go into launch control mode where your shifts are on the paddle and all that. I'll demonstrate that um, in just a second here. So we're going around the bend here and we'll go into M mode. A lot of different things changed. My heads up display changes. My, uh, my M dynamic mode goes on so the car is going to have a little more give at the edges. Uh, coming down to the center here we have power. My seats automatically come on and my shocks are stiff. And you can't, might not be able to see this, you have to go back to the control here but you'll, uh, I have the hardest shift settings as well. So the, uh, now I'm shifting on the paddles. I can also choose to shift down here and I go around the corner and I feel my active seats uh, light up. We'll make a quick U-turn here and we'll get a wide open throttle run. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna downshift to one and we'll let her rip. You feel the downshift and here we go. Very quick 60. I didn't have it floored the whole time. I'm gonna downshift. You can hear the throttle blips. The uh, this is a great feature on these BMWs, modified from F1 technology. Uh, on the downshift, it automatically matches the revs the engine needs uh, for the, for the next shift point. So again, we'll do a quick demonstration on launch control. I actually won't go into it because it uh, can damage the transmission. I try to stay away from that. But to get into launch control, you take your traction control off. And if you look here at the uh, main center, you actually, that little uh, empty square on the right opens up another shift gate. Now you're in launch control and uh, you basically uh, can uh, do like a race ready launch from that point. Okay, I'll take it all back out to normal mode and we'll pull back in the, in the barn here. So again, 2006, uh, my personal vehicle as the founder and CEO of Pure Pursuit, we're hoping that you give us a call to uh, talk more about this car and ask any more questions that you have anytime 24-7 at area code 816-659-3027. Email any one of us on the team at hello at purepursuitauto.com. And uh, thanks, and we'll see you next time.